Hi, I'm Ryan and my life is average. Okay, so as some of you may or may not know, a couple months back, I went on tour with Kian and JC. They are other YouTubers. We were on tour with uh, them around the country. Okay, also with my friend Dom and Vitaly and Harrison, and it was a blast. We went to a lot of places, but some of the places, things were a little wild, things got a little crazy, and one of those places where things were just a little outlandish was New Orleans, or New Orleans, or New Orleans. And there's a billion pronunciations of it. And apparently I can't say any right, because when I was there and I would say it, people would get very upset at me. I apologize in advance. I'm from Jersey, I don't really, I don't know how to, New Jersey, it's just, you know, it's it's one thing. You can't fuck that up. So first off, I've never been to New Orleans before. I always wanted to go, obviously, because I heard about Mardi Gras, and you think about Mardi Gras, and it's like, you know, people throwing beads at you, and then the girls show you their rubies, their tatas, their fun bags, whatever you want to call them. You can call them whatever, I don't care. And, you know, it looks like fun. Everybody's having a great time. So it was July 4th. When we were there, we got there July 3rd night, next day July 4th. So we were like, this is gonna be fantastic. Everyone's gonna be partying and happy and it's gonna be good vibes, like Tumblr, good vibes only, man, yeah. And we were all stoked and we got there on the 3rd. It was 109 degrees, number one. It was so hot that, you know, like if you were barefoot on the ground, you feel like your feet would probably just disintegrate. It was that hot, it was horrible. And with me, I don't perform well in heat. You can take that sexually or not, just in general, okay? I don't, I become a Snorlax, I become a big lump of syrup. Just, I just fall and I don't move and it's bad. So that alone was terrifying. I didn't think it was that hot there. It was very hot, it was bad. So we did the show and then July 4th, okay, I'm walking around, okay, by myself, the hotel, I'm walking like two blocks away, realized it wasn't the greatest area, that's okay, it's, it's whatever, it's not a big deal, it doesn't bother me any. So I'm walking on a shirt that said Coke. Okay, Coca-Cola, so from Target, it was $9. It was comfortable, very soft material. It's like a polyester and a cotton, and I like that. So I'm walking, doing my thing, strolling along, saying hello to people, because, because I felt great. I felt like a, a new person, I'm in a new place, new me. You know what I'm saying? New phone, who dis? So I'm walking by and then a guy stops me, and he kind of like does this to me, and he's like, you want, you want some Coke? I was like, what? He's like, do you want some Coke? I am very simple-minded. So when he said, you want some Coke? I was like, oh yeah. That's all I said was, oh yeah. Because I thought he said, you like Coke? Like the, like the shirt, I'm wearing a shirt that says Coke on it, right? He's, he's making, you know, it's a joke, okay, yeah. And then he kind of like, like looks away and then just like puts a bag of cocaine in my hand. Which I never, that's never happened to me before. And I just looked at it and I was like, well, that is certainly not sugar and it is not salt. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, this is probably not baking soda. I didn't say that, but I just stared at it. And I was like, I do not want this. And then he looked at me like I was nuts. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, I thought you meant my shirt. It's a, it's a shirt that says Coke on it. So then that really was a start. And I went back, I washed my hands like 70 times. She was like, oh my God, what if there's cocaine on my hand? I don't know, the little baggie might have residue on it. You know, what if a cop stops me and I go shake their hand and then there's there's cocaine on there? I don't know, I was freaking out. Okay, so I kept walking. I got some really good chicken. That was amazing. Then that night, we were really excited because it was 4th of July and we're going to Bourbon Street, which is where Mardi Gras takes place. Bourbon Street is that street where there's a bunch of bars and there's a bunch of shops and stores and, and everything. So. Me and the gang, it was JC, myself, uh, and Dom, we went one way because we were 21 and up, and then Kian, Vitaly, and Harrison, who were not, went another way, which was not Bourbon Street. So we're ready to have a good time, and then we realized like, not a lot of people were really patriotic on Bourbon Street for 4th of July, where like, I'm used to being in Philadelphia and New York, where it's just like, fireworks are going off like crazy and people have red, white, and blue everywhere, and it wasn't like that. So we're walking on Bourbon Street, and immediately I get the foul odor of just poo. And this is never a good sign. It's just not a great way to start your night. Okay, your night's not gonna start great when you smell poop. So then we're walking and I, I go out loud. I'm like, oh, it smells like shit. And this dude like walking to the right of me goes, oh, that's because there's human feces all over the sidewalk. That dude just shit everywhere. And I was like, oh, woo, happy fourth. This is great. So of course I look over and there is a pile and I mean, this guy must have been half man, half horse, because there was a pile of doo-doo. I, I 
I mean, it, it, it was like, it looked like the poop emoji, but there was like, it, it was just pounds, like pounds of butter, but brown. And I couldn't stop staring. You know when something's so gross that you can't stop looking at it? So I just kept doing this. Ugh. You guys... Okay, so that's never a good sign. Like I said, you never want to see a gigantic pile of human feces when you're any at any point of your life, but especially when you're trying to have a good time on the 4th of July. But then you flash forward 35 minutes, okay? We start getting some drinks in us. We're having a good time. Dom bought the biggest balls ever, and you might be like, oh, Ryan, stupid joke. No, okay? He bought a necklace with beads with the big, I mean, the biggest bead balls I've ever seen. And so obviously, as you can see, I wore them because who wouldn't wear them? And that was fun. And then Dom gave them to some other guy. And he's like, do you want my balls? And the guy was like, what? And he just put a, a necklace on him. It was a very interesting thing. But then we started getting these giant drinks. Okay, they're called like gren hand grenades. Ooh, two of those, I was feeling good. I was in a good mood. Like I'm a happy drunk. I know there's some crazy drunks, <clears throat> Dom, but I'm a happy drunk. I'm, I'm like a good vibe person. So was JC, so we're having a good time. Okay, we're, we're, just, we're just having a blast. We're having a blasty blast. It's the 4th of July. Dom singing Bruce Springsteen, JC's putting up peace signs, positive vibes, whatever he's like constantly, his hair is curly. So we're just we're just having a good time. And then we're just in a bar and we meet three viewers of ours and they're like, oh, we wanna buy you guys some shots. We're like, amazing, this is what, this is awesome. So they buy us some lemon head shots and then now we're just pumped. So then JC and Dom go to the bathroom and there's a couple girls still there that we knew that we met up with. And there's a guy next to me who seemed like kind of pissed off. So I was like just chatting with him and I was like, hey man, you all right? And he was like, yeah, you know, uh, just this guy like stepped on my, my foot and spilled beer and he didn't apologize. And I was like, oh man, you know, it is what it is. You need like a napkin or something. So I got him some napkins. He's clean off his shoes, you know, kind of could tell he was pissed off and he kind of looked at me like, hey, thanks man. Like, I appreciate that. And then, so then we start talking a little bit about basketball. I tell him I'm a Sixers fan. We're talking, we're having a good time. It's a good conversation. Everything's going well. Drunk Ryan is in full effect, but I'm drunk enough to hold a conversation. I'm still trying hard not to look like I'm drunk because I want to do that. I really stare at people like I'm a damn eagle going for a prey, but I still was doing a good job. Of it. So me and this guy are talking, and then the guy that spills it on him comes back. So at this point, we're like right inside the bar. It's like an opening. Like there's the bar, and then there's a there's a good. There's a door, but with no, you know, um, there's a, there's an opening, a doorway, that's it. But there's no door, just we'll open to the public, you can walk right in. So Dom and JC are just waiting right there. I'm chatting with this guy, and then the other guy comes up. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm positive Ryan. I gotta be peacemaker here, because I, do, I don't like fighting. I don't, maybe it's because I'm a weak person, <laughs> but I don't like fighting. I think it's stupid, and I don't think it amounts to many things, and I don't like when people try to kill each other, and I think it's insane. So I was just, so the guy comes over, and he, he, he goes to apologize, but in the most passive aggressive way ever, like he's being real petty about it. And then the guy who got the beer spilled on him was like, man, like, why are you being like this? Like, this is ridiculous. And the dude's like, oh, well, I don't like your tone. And then I'm like, all right, guys. And I get him. I'm like, right, guys, come on, relax. Come on. It's 4th of July. Let's just relax. Let's grab a drink. And it seemed like it was good for 10 seconds. I was like, okay, wow. That was, I did that. Look at that. You mentioned drinks and people get excited. So I kind of stand to the left. And then things start escalating more. Then out of nowhere, and I mean literally nowhere, there were like six people. And I swear to God, it happened within two seconds. Like they teleported like a diglet out of the ground. They just shot up out of the ground and were just there. And I was like, what the hell? So then there's like, so now at this point, nothing's too crazy, but people are just in each other's face, you know, almost like a typical bar fight. And I'm in the middle of it kind of, and just trying to prevent anything bad from happening because I kept getting these feelings of, ah, man, this is gonna get, someone's gonna get hurt. Someone's gonna get in a fight. I don't want this to happen. I know that that dude I was talking to didn't want any issues. He was just upset. So now I'm in the middle of everybody and I, I see JC and Dom in the back and um, and then like it, out of nowhere things just get crazy really quickly and I'm trying to block people and then just people start running up 
and throwing punches. I got hit in the back of my neck with a punch. Not big, not just accidentally, not like someone meant to hit me, but I'm just trying. So at this point, now I'm like kind of pissed off and I'm trying to break everybody off of each other, like pull people off that are trying to throw punches and just try, you know, me and a couple other people are then trying to break up the fight because we knew that there's a lot of people in a small space. There's, it's just, it's out of hand. Like it was just getting out of hand. There's actually kids around because you're allowed to have a kid with you in the street and with parental, you know, permission. So now I'm just, remember like I'm just trying to stop everything so then I see I hear JC getting like really upset he's yelling at me because he can see that I'm getting flustered and then just I never threw any punches or anything I'm just trying to get people off but you can people just are that and that just starts becoming a brawl so I can't really process it at the time because I'm just focusing on like trying to stop things which in hindsight was not the greatest idea I mean I had good intentions obviously but uh, it was stupid because then JC basically comes in like a hero, basically like Splicey Splice Enrique Iglesias. I can be your hero, baby. So he comes in because he sees me then grabbing people and do it, and he basically grabs me. Just JC got some uh, some arm strength on him, got some upper body on him, grabs me, pulls me off, and kind of like breaks me back because he could see that I was in this zone right like five seconds before things got terrifying and what I mean by that is he pulls me off okay pulls me off and then we go to the side right we go to the side near the alley and then it just becomes five six people turn into 20 people within a matter of five seconds and then you just hear pow 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 and Woo! That sobered me up real quick. I mean, I had never heard something like that before. So we, I mean, you know, we had, we just all were on the side of the alleyway and people were just running left and right, you know, because when you hear gunshots, you just run. I mean, that's the way it is. And then like in a matter of 10 seconds, you know, we're running this way. You see cops on horses and, and people with shields and it got crazy really fast. And it's probably you're like, oh my god, this is a clickbait video. No. JC Kalen literally may have saved my life. Now, I don't know if I was going to be shot, but I was literally in the middle of what was going on. And if he didn't pull me out of there, then I don't know what would have happened. And I don't like thinking about that because it was a very scary thought. And uh, I just, it, that was a very weird way to end that night. Some people say that they believe in guardian angels, you know, JC, if you're watching this, you probably aren't because, I mean, you, have, you actually have friends and things that you do, but if you are, you are my guardian angel. Thank you. Jokes aside though, that was a really scary moment in my life. Um, and I'm gonna do my best not to get involved in those things again. Basically the moral of that is sometimes you just can't prevent things from happening like that. And then when you get in the middle of it, it turns into your problem. Crazy, insane stories for you guys from the tour. If you wanna hear some more of these, you know this is why I promote myself. Give this video a thumbs up uh, because a lot of things happened, okay? I got my laptop stolen at one point. That was crazy. There's, I mean, there's so many things, I got tased every day. There's a lot of stuff that happened on tour, okay? A lot of things that uh, I would like to talk about in the future. So if you'd like that, then just like it and I'll do more because once again, I don't have video ideas. I'm brainless, people. I'm not creative. So please let me just blab to you guys. That would be great. But that's it for me. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me ramble for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching and clicking this video if you did. Thank you. If you didn't click this video, you're not even watching this, so fuck you. That was harsh, but I mean, I mean, I don't mean it, but I do. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys right here next Saturday or Sunday. The video will be up. That's all you need to know. There will be a video, okay? It'll be up. It'll come whenever. Like me in sex. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. And hey, stay average. I can be your hero.